Well, hopefully you can table the Louisiana bias here tonight as Dustin Poirier takes on Conor McGregor. You know Poirier's been chomping at the bit to get this rematch. Ask him, you shall receive. He's finally gotten it, and he had to really claw and scratch to get back to this position. Conor disposed of him very quickly in the first fight. Dustin feels as though he's done everything necessary to change the outcome in the second attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. McGregor gets hit and flushly with that big overhand. Nice body shot. And follows up with another one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Another straight left. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well placed kick there by Dustin Poirier. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Poirier gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice job by Dustin Poirier. He's in trouble. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And he landed the right hand there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He lands flush with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice. nice. Inside, he's hooked out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Under a minute now to go in the round. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopped. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. McGregor gets absolutely punished by that head kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 
15 seconds. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Throwing that jab, no good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. He blocks the punch. Unable to connect there. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Over and over, he's landing his big body kick. Poirier gets caught with that. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 71 total strikes have left. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by McGregor. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. Kind of I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. That shot is blocked by McGregor. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his strike. Big left hand there. Lands the right hand. Try to establish that jab. Swing and a miss by Poirier. Punch is blocked. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice straight left there. Poirier gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice job to go with the lead left hand there, DC. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Dustin Poirier. Blocks the shot. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Under a minute to go. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Yeah. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses with the jab. Whoa! Oh! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Talk to me fine when I'm gone.